Good morning students and welcome to today's maths class. So in the previous class as you all know we studied regrouping ones and tens. So what we do in regrouping ones and tens? First the numbers that are given to us we arrange those numbers vertically in columns and then we first add the tens. Sorry ones. Right so we start adding the number from ones. Then once we get the answer from ones. For example here 8 plus 6 we got as 14. So 14 ones. Because the number is a two digit number and it is also greater than nine, what we'll do is we'll regroup 14 ones as one ten and four ones and carry over the one ten to the tens place. All right. So now we add the tens. So we add the carried over one three plus two, which is six. So we got six tens here. So we'll write six in tens column. Then we add the hundreds. So four hundreds plus three hundreds, which is seven. So answer what is here? what's the answer here? It is 764. Correct. So this was regrouping ones and tens. Similarly, we saw regrouping ones, tens, and hundreds. Here again, first you arrange the numbers vertically in columns as ones, tens, and hundreds. Then add the ones first. So when you add the ones here, 8 plus 9, 17. So 17 ones we regroup them as one tens and seven ones then we write seven in the ones column and carry over the one ten to the tens place now we add the digits in the tens place so we can add the carried over one plus seven plus five which is there there in the problem so that is you'll get 13 tens now again you cannot write 13 tens in the tens column so what you do you regroup them as 103 tens so the three tens you write in the tens column and carry over the 100 to the hundreds place here we add all the hundreds digits so first we add the one which is carried over plus three and plus two which is there in the problem so when you add that you'll get six hundreds so your final answer here is 637 so this is how you regroup ones tens and hundreds so this is what we did in the last class right so moving on to the uh, today's topic. So in uh, today's class, we'll be studying ad uh, addition of three numbers. So far, so far you added only two numbers, right? So today, now what we'll be doing is we'll be seeing how to add three numbers. So here, what is the example they've given? Add 37 plus 418 plus 226. So first arrange these numbers into columns like this, ones, tens and hundreds. So 37, 7 in ones place, 3 in tens place. Then 418, 8 in ones place, 1 in tens place and 4 in hundreds place. Then 226, so 6 in ones place, this 2 in tens place and the another 2 in hundreds place. So we wrote them in vertical columns. Now what we do, we start adding from the ones. We always start adding from the ones place you always start adding from the lower place and the lower place here is the ones so when you add the ones how many ones we have seven ones plus eight ones plus six ones so what you can do first you can add seven ones plus eight ones so when you add seven ones plus eight ones you'll get 15 ones okay one five 15 ones then that 15 ones you can add it to 6 so 15 plus 6 is 21 ones as you know you cannot write 21 ones in the ones column we regroup it how will you regroup 21 ones in 21 ones i have two tens and one one so that one one which is there that one i'll write in the ones column and the two tens i will carry it over to the tens place now now we did so much right now what we'll do we'll add the tens place in the tens place we have the carried over two tens then the three tens plus one ten plus two tens so first what you do you add two tens plus three tens you'll get how much you'll get five tens then five tens plus one ten is six tens six tens plus two tens is equal to eight tens now there's no need to carry over or regroup so we'll write eight in tens place then moving on to hundreds place in hundreds place i have four plus two that is four hundreds plus two hundreds how much is that it is equal to six six hundreds so we'll write six in hundreds place so what is the sum of 37 plus 418 plus 226 it is 681 
right now we'll see a few problems on addition of three numbers which are given in your textbook so page number 101 in your textbooks so here as you can see uh, they've done the first two problems for you so let's see them 9 plus 8 plus 7 ones so how much is 9 plus 8 it is 17 ones then 17 ones plus 7 ones is equal to 24 ones so that 24 ones i'll regroup it as two tens and four ones write four in the ones place and carry over the two tens to the tens place now we'll add the tens digits so in tens i have the two which is carried over plus two plus three plus two so two plus two is four four plus three is seven and when i do seven plus two i'll get nine so i have a total of nine tens so i'll write the nine tens in tens place then three plus four is there in hundreds place so how much is three plus four three plus four is seven so what is my final answer it is seven hundred and ninety seven okay so 794 sorry not 797 794 okay the next problem 37 plus 226 plus 519 okay now here 7 plus 6 plus 9 that is a ones column so how much is 7 plus 6 it is 13 1 3 13 and 13 plus 9 is 22. So we have 22 ones. Now this 22 ones, I'll regroup it as 2 tens and 2 ones. That 2 ones, I'll write it in ones place. 2 tens, I'll carry it over to the tens place. Now in tens place, I have 2 which is carried over plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. So I will add them. So 2 plus 3 is how much? It is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7 and 7 plus 1 is 8 so i have a total of 8 tens which i'll write in the tens column then moving on to hundreds column in hundreds place i have 2 plus 5 how much is 2 plus 5 2 plus 5 is 7 so 7 hundreds that is so 782 is your answer over here all right so these are the uh, examples that they've shown now let's solve the problems now in one's place i hear i have 8 plus 6 plus 9 so how much is 8 plus 6 8 plus 6 will give you 14 and 14 plus 9 will give you how much 14 plus 9 is 23 so 23 ones so how will we write that we'll write it as two tens and three ones so we'll write three in ones place and carry over two to tens place now in tens uh, place we'll add two plus four how much is two plus four that is six then 6 plus 1, 7, and 7 plus 2, 9. So that is 9 tenths. So we'll write 9 in tenth place. Then moving on to hundreds place. Hundreds place, I have 2 plus 5. So how much is 2 plus 5? 2 plus 5 is 7. So we'll write 7 here. So what is the answer over here? It is 793. Okay. Then the next one. 59 plus 127 plus 309 so adding the digits in the ones place so in ones place i have 9 7 9 so first adding 7 and 9 so how much is 7 and 9 7 plus 9 is 15 okay then 15 plus 9 how much will be 15 plus 9 it'll be 24 so i have 24 ones now that 24 ones will regroup them as four ones and two tens or two tens and four ones so that four will write in ones place two will write in tens place okay so in tens place we'll do two plus five how much is two plus five it is seven then seven plus two nine and nine plus zero is nine so we'll write nine in tens place then hundreds place in hundreds place what is the number one plus three which is four so 494 is the answer for the second question 494 okay moving on to the next problem 163 plus 47 plus 328 so 3 plus 7 in ones place that is 10 then 10 plus 8 18 so 18 ones which we regroup as 110 and 8 ones so 8 ones will write here carry over 1 to 10's place then in 10's place we'll add the digits 1 plus 6 7 
7 plus 4 11 11 plus 2 will be 13 right so this 13 tens what we'll do we'll regroup it as 100 and 3 tens so 3 tens i'll uh, write in tens place and carry over 1 to hundreds place okay Uh, sorry that good it is so let's do that problem again okay so what we did first added the ones so once we have 3 plus 7 which is 10 then 10 plus 8 18 so what we did we regroup that 18 ones as 1 10 and 8 ones so we'll write 8 ones here and carry over the 1 10 to the tens place 9 tens place i will add 1 plus 6 1 plus 6 is 7 7 plus 4 that is 11 and 11 plus 2 is 13. Now here this 13 tens which are there. We will regroup it as 100 and 3 tens. So 3 tens I will write in tens place. And the 100 I will carry over to a hundreds place. Now hundreds place I have 1 plus, th uh, 1, plus 1 plus 3. So what is 1 plus 1? 1 plus 1 is 2. And 2 plus 3 is 5. So 538 is your answer for the question okay now the last three problems which are here please try and do it for your homework okay so the last three problems are your homework that is these three problems okay so those three questions are your homework now what we'll do is we'll see something called addition stories so let's see what are addition stories you have already learned addition stories at first standard now we'll be seeing addition of two digit numbers okay addition stories for two digit numbers so addition stories what are addition stories addition stories are nothing but they are the it's given like a story and you have to find the sum so whatever they've given into a story you have to consider it and find the addition of those numbers given in the story now let's see a few examples here they have told christopher has 56 blocks he buys eight more so they're telling a boy named christopher has 56 blocks he is buying eight more so how many blocks does christopher have in all okay so they're asking totally how many blocks he has so 56 blocks plus eight blocks so when you add that you'll get 64 blocks Okay, there are four marbles, six marbles more are added. How many are there in total? So, four marbles plus six marbles gives you ten marbles. Okay, then if there are 71 blocks in a box and Dorothy puts nine more blocks inside. So, in a box there are 71 blocks and then they are putting nine more blocks inside. So, how many blocks are there in the box? 71 blocks plus nine blocks which is 80 blocks okay then there are three bottle caps 22 bottle caps more are added how many there how many are there in total so there are three bottle caps to which they are adding 22 more so three bottle caps plus 22 bottle caps gives you 25 bottle caps okay then if there are three apples in a box and melissa puts 73 more apples inside how many apples are there in the box so melissa uh, in a box there are three apples and melissa is putting 73 more apples in it so how many apples will be there in the box three apples plus 73 apples which is 76 apples so these are addition stories so first you have to read the questions carefully uh, and then write the answer solve and write the answers okay now let's see a few questions which are there in your textbook so page number 102 in your textbooks so first question there are 18 boys and 17 girls in class 2 how many children are there in the class together so what are the number of boys there are 18 number of girls 17 so how many children are there in the class together you have to add 18 plus 17 so first write them in uh, columns like this ones and tens then add the ones first 8 plus 7 which is 15 and then you regroup them and then carry over one so you'll have one plus one plus one three so there are 35 children in the class okay so Preeti has 22 toys so what is the number here it is 
22 so let's write 22 first how many toys she has she has 22 toys and then she gets 15 more toys on her birthday so on her birthday she is getting 15 toys more so that is how many toys does she have to gather so we'll add 22 and 15 how much is 2 plus 5 2 plus 5 is 7 and 2 plus 1 is 3 so she has 37 toys all together okay so that was second question the third question there are 27 tomatoes in a plant okay so we'll write 27 here in the plant there are 27 tomatoes there are nine tomatoes in another plant so we'll write nine in the next line okay so nine tomatoes in the another plant so how many tomatoes are there all together so first what you'll do we will add seven plus nine what is seven plus nine seven plus nine is 16 so we'll write six ones here and carry over one ten to the tens place so two plus one which is three so there are total 36 tomatoes together okay and then there are 36 trees on one side of a road and 25 trees on other side of a road so there is a road on one side there are 36 trees so we'll write 36 here okay on one side there are 36 and on another side there are 25 trees so 25 so how many trees are there in the total okay so first we'll add the ones place 6 plus 5 which is 11 so we'll write 1 here and carry over 1 to tens place then 3 plus 1 4 and 4 plus 2 6 so there are total 61 trees on the side of the road then question number 5 there are 25 passengers in a bus and 7 passengers in another bus how many passengers are there all together so in two buses there are some people so in the first bus there are 25 people in the second bus there are 7 passengers so in total how many passengers are there how much is 7 plus 5 7 plus 5 is 12 so we'll write so we'll write 2 over there okay so we'll write 2 in ones column and then sorry so first here we'll write 25 then here we'll write 7 7 plus 5 is 12 so we'll write 12 carry over 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3 so there are 32 passengers all together then one box has 24 hats so one box has 24 hats so we'll write 24 then another has 18 hats so one box has 24 hats other has 18 hats so 24 plus 18 how many hats are there in total 4 plus 8 12 so 2 we write here and carry over 1 so 1 plus 2 3 and 3 plus 1 4 so how many hats are there all together there are 42 hats in total okay 42 hats together so this is how you do addition stories okay so this is how you do addition stories now you know what's your homework for your homework you have to complete the last three problems here on page 101 and try to do this question here this uh, pattern what is that try to do it if you can do it or else i'll show you how to do it in the next class or i'll tell you what to do so what to do to write the answer number here okay to write the number here you will add these two numbers so 4 plus 5 4 plus 5 is 9 so we'll write 9 here then 7 plus 5 12 so we'll write 12 here okay and to write this you will do 7 plus 9 16 okay so you have to do like this okay to go above the pyramid you have to keep adding two numbers and to go below you have to subtract so 5 minus 4 1 then 7 minus 5 2 9 minus 7 is 2 okay like this okay so complete this pyramid for your homework and also do questions on page number 101 the last three problems for your homework 
ஆல் ரைட் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் தேங்க்யூ ஆல் சி ஆல் இன் த நெக்ஸ்ட் கிளாஸ்